Matt Renshaw, welcome to the Brisbane Heat podcast. You're back in Brisbane after a couple of months away. Is it good to be home? Yeah, it's it's good to be home, but just a bit annoying circumstances to be home with the the finger. But no, it's a nice little period now for me to to work on a few things and, and just get back into life in Brisbane. It's been uh, times of ups and downs for you, um, the life of a kind of a professional athlete. How do you reflect on the 2017 to 18 season? Yeah, it was sort of a, a tale of two, two halves of the season. Um, first half of the season obviously struggled with, with runs and, and in the mental side, but then had a nice little break and, and time with the heat and Christmas time was really good for me. And then the second half of the year and then um, all going into the English County summer was, was great, great sort of times for me and it was, it's nice to reflect on those times. You obviously won a recall to the Australian Test team in pretty unusual circumstances with the three guys coming back from uh, the tour while you were in the middle of a Sheffield Shield final. How did you actually find out that you were being selected in the tour? Um, Well, it was middle of the Shield final. I got a phone call in the morning of day five and got told that I was heading over to um, replace them. And it was going to be that day, but we sort of managed to push it back a little bit. So I managed to be here for the for the finish and the the victory celebrations and all the songs and that which was nice and then head over that night which was which was different and and just part of being a, a professional sportsman i think he gets the cut short it goes behind point it's over the boundary they hug in the middle Marcus lovis and matthew renshaw queensland has won their eighth sheffield shield and with a score of 81 98, Matthew Renshaw has hit the winning runs. Well, kind of flashback to that. You hit the winning runs in the Shield final, then you're on a plane a couple of hours later. Was it a little bit odd not being able to celebrate the victory with your teammates? Yeah, it was uh, different. I was, I was that tired by the end of it that I was nearly falling asleep in the, in the lounge waiting again on the plane. But So got a fair bit of sleep on that, on that plane. But no, it was a bit, bit different and a bit sort of... Not upsetting, but you'd go through all the ups and downs of the Shield season to then not really get to enjoy it. But to play a Test match for your country is is pretty special in itself. So heading over there was was a tale what was quite good and bad, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, you obviously deep down you wanted to get back into the the team and wear the baggy green again. But in those circumstances, was it? Did you have kind of mixed feelings about going over and integrating back into the squad? Yeah, it was, it was a bit different after that time away from the team, but you know, I wasn't expecting to, to be, especially on that tour after it got picked, I um, wasn't expecting to be there at all, so I was just concentrating on the Shield and, and what we did with the with the Shield final and that, that young group of guys who managed to do something pretty special, but going over there was, was a really bizarre sort of circumstances and environment. I've never experience that with a, a cricket team so I just try to bring a bit of energy and, and try and get a few guys who obviously had been struggling up and and just try and try and score some runs which was quite tough. And the guys over there had obviously been through a hell of a lot what was the atmosphere like when you actually got there? Yeah it was quite down a um, bit ex- expected but I just try to to go over there and enjoy myself as as much as I could without sort of putting in the faces they were all as soon as I got there all the guys were were pretty got a little bit up because a new guy had come in and, and got to experience a few other sort of conversations which was good instead of just all the all the chat about the the ball tampering stuff. So you come back from South Africa into Brisbane you're only here for two days then over to the UK and you end up playing some cricket with Somerset and have a lot of success there. That's gone for six it's gone for six over the long leg boundary that is Matt Renshaw's century what a magnificent innings. What was it like playing in the the county season? Yeah it, it's different it's a lot more full-on I'd say than uh, the cricket over here you some sometimes you travel play travel play like four four games a week nearly which is is a lot different to what you're sort of doing over here, but I think that's sort of a, another experience and try and learn from that. And for those that can't see, you've got a big uh, plaster on your finger. What have you done there? I uh, broke my finger in a, in a warm-up in the, in before one of the championship games over there. I'm doing some slip practice, just cut one on the end of it and, and played through that. wasn't sure if it was broken or not. had a x-ray during the game and found out it was broken, so I had to come home early, which is... Bit unfortunate playing with those Somerset guys. It was a lot of fun, but probably look at the bigger picture. It's it's more important to get that fixed. And what's the time frame on getting back on the park? Um, so I got surgery on on Thursday. So um, probably about six to eight weeks after that. Hopefully try and get back just in time for the Aussie A series. But 
we'll have to try and work on that quite a bit. So you re on with the Heat for another couple of seasons. You got a taste of Big Bash towards the very end of the competition. Uh, what was that like? Oh, it was a, it was a really good experience and, and playing in front of a, a pretty good Brisbane crowd and ex- enjoying that was, was quite, quite good. Um, obviously, the cricket was quite tough and that's also why you play, but being able to play in front of the Brisbane crowd is... We get to do it half of, half of our season, which is, is great. It's always special, I suppose, when you get selected in a, in a new team. And uh, I believe Brisbane Heat is the best team in the competition for many reasons. Uh, and the people come down and support you. So, Renners, on behalf of everyone here, mate, good luck with your endeavours with the Heat, mate. I hope it goes really well. Uh, enjoy tonight. What about getting to the final, mate? So what is it like playing in front of the, the Brisbane Heat crowd, which is packed 35,000, a lot of night lights, a lot of energy compared to a Boxing Day test, which is kind of the pinnacle of the game, but also playing in India in front of really raucous crowds in that kind of hot weather. How, how does that kind of differ? Um, I think it's just th- the difference is the 2020 format. Um, it's so full on, you, you barely have time between balls to really um, think too much and your, your heart beating and adrenaline's going going crazy in front of well any crowd really, but that, that Gabba crowd's pretty loud. and. And I think you've just got to try and sometimes just take a step back and enjoy the the conditions and, and the crowd because sometimes it can be pretty full on and, and nerve wracking. But if you take a step back and just enjoy it, it's probably you get better out of yourself. And a different environment for you coming in and training and playing with guys like Brendan McCullum who have done it all but really experienced in T20 cricket. How did you kind of um, go training and playing with Baz? Yeah, he, he was great. Um, always made me feel welcome even the t- first time I met him he sort of came up to me and I felt like I was his best friend which was which was quite funny but um, just I try to sit back and watch him and, and Linny and Cutsy when they were batting um, just learn from them and one thing I noticed is they all kept their head really still so I try to take that for, with me and just when I was ha- when I was netting was just enjoy myself and just try things because 2020 is a, a new sort of format for me, so just trying and enjoy it, and then got some success from in club cricket, and 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 then into the BBL from that. So I think it all all worked from there. So what part of your game or parts of your game do you think you want to improve on this season to become a better T20 player? I think um, probably just learning the game of 2020 cricket. It's a lot different to that four day and it's about calculating when you can take risks and when you can sort of need to work it around and try and get run a ball or, or twos which is that's the enjoyable part it's sort of like a big big equation trying to work it out when you can go and that sort of thing but I think learning from a few more guys and, and just when when the best time to do that sort of thing is is exciting. We saw you in the nets and in club cricket with the ball in your hand a little bit we're going to see you buying a few offies this season? I'm not too sure I think I probably would have panicked if I bowled in that in that game I played in. So Baz sort of just held me back. He said to be prepared, but I sort of was panicking in the field. So I don't know how I'd go with the ball. But um, I, I hope I'll be working on it quite a bit. It's, my broken finger's not my bowling hand, so I can I can still bowl. So I'll be doing a lot of that, hopefully. And this coming Big Bash season, obviously bigger and better, more games, kind of hopefully the same level of uh, support from the fans. Um, but you'll also be pushing to play test cricket and wear the baggy green again. What are your goals for the season ahead? Um, probably not put too much pressure on myself. That was one thing that over the first half of the year I was really trying to trying to get picked in that Ashes team, but once I realised that I was, I was gone and, and not picked, it was just about enjoying my cricket and, and trying to perform for every team I played in, whether that's club cricket with Toomble or um, playing for the Heat or the Bulls. So... Um, just enjoying that and then all the processes that come and, and that's generally when I score some runs. You're kind of a Brisbane boy now and the Heat are uh, a new team in the scheme of things. Do you get great pride in representing Brisbane? Yeah, definitely. Um, you get it with the Bulls and then now into the Heat has been there's a nice little sort of fan base going and, and the support we've got over the even when I was coming to watch and, and BBL1 was great but I think now it's starting to get really a lot bigger and, and the support has always been great. And away from the cricket field, what is what do you like to get up to? What are your kind of hobbies and passions? Um, love golf, which is um, good. A lot of the, the Heat guys like playing golf, so um, go away and, and try and get the golf clubs there, but probably won't be able to play too much with my fingers, so just um, a lot of relaxing and, and watching sort of movies and TV shows and just getting away from cricket sometimes is good. Okay, what's your favourite 
Oh, what's your favourite TV show then? And also, what's your golf handicap? Um, golf handicap can um, fluctuate quite a bit. Um, when I went over to England, I said I was off 13 and started playing off 25 and that sort of thing, which wasn't great. And then can play a, a fairly good round. It's just if my putting is on or off that day, it's my putting needs a lot of work. Um, favourite TV show at the moment is probably Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, very good show. And I think Mitchell Swepson can do a lot of those impersonations as well. So if you had the choice to be uh, Netflix and chill or go home and read a book, what would you choose? Probably Netflix and chill. Fair enough. And any good golf courses around Brisbane we should keep our eyes on? Uh, I'm a member at Brisbane Golf Club, which is a, re- a really good course. And when it's up and running, it's, it's quite nice. Um, used to be a member at Nudgee as well, which I hear is, is quite good. I haven't had the chance to play out there for a while. Renners, we're going to finish off with the final over. So I'm going to ask you six questions and we just want kind of one or two word answers. So what's your career highlight to date? Uh, Test 100. Would you rather hit a hole in one or take a hat trick? Uh, probably a hat trick. I've got a hole in one. Who's the most annoying Heat teammate that you got? Um, probably me for other people or Joe Burns or Manus. What's your favourite food? Um, like a good stir fry. Favourite thing about Brisbane? Um, the weather sometimes. Sometimes it can be too hot. Would you prefer a day at the beach or a round of golf? Round of golf. Thanks, Renners. Cheers.